All right, this is Remo, your friend. Once again, I'm here to educate on what is your work as a Christian in the church. What is your work as a Christian in the church? But before then, if you are new on this channel, remember to subscribe. Remember to subscribe. All right, I'll take it one by one. I have some tips to share with you as to what is your work as a Christian in the church. But before then, I want you to ask this question yourself. What is your work as a Christian in the church? What do you do as a Christian in the church? All right, I'll take it one by one. First point here is ushering. First point is ushering. It is very vital for us as believers in the church to usher. If you have the capacity, the ability, the zeal to be able to usher or to be able to place things in order, it is very vital for you to do that. So if you have that quality to be able to usher in the church, do that. As a believer, some people have that ability to usher. They have the ability to place things in order in the church. They have that zeal, but they don't want to do it. So if you are a believer in the church, today, from today onwards, I urge you to usher. If you have that capacity to usher, then you need to usher. So point number one here is ushering. It is very important. All right. Point number two here is teaching. Teaching no preaching. Yes, believers in the church, most people can teach. Most people are born teachers. Most are not teachers. But if you have that capacity to teach individuals in the church, you need to do that. If you have the zeal, no, the calling to preach the word of God to personalities in the church, you need to do that. So it is very vital as an individual in the church to teach. If you have that quality to teach, you need to teach. So point number two is teaching. Most people have the zeal to teach. They have the confidence to teach, but they don't want to do it. So if you are not doing it and you are expecting the blessings of God upon your life, it is very difficult. So you need to do that as an individual. If you have that capacity to teach, try and teach. It is very, very, very vital. That is point number two. All right. Point number three here is counseling. Most people are counselors in the church. But they don't want to counsel an individual. Most individuals do go to them for counseling, but they don't have the quality they have in them. They don't want to share all. They just feel like, all right, if I give a little advice, that is enough. But as a counselor, you need to do and do and do follow up. Let the people learn more and more. And also, you can eventually go to them and ask them if they have so many problems. Yes, they can also you can you can you can help them sort it out it is very very vital so if you have that capacity in you if you have that counseling spirit in you you can also cancel an individual in the church so it is very vital for we as christians to discover if you are a counselor try to cancel an individual in the church yes point number three i said what counseling counseling is very important the elders in the church most elders in the church may be counselors. Yes, let me put it this way. The elders can also counsel an individual. All right? It doesn't matter your, 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 your level of, 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 of education nor your level of spirituality. If the person is older enough, that person has the capacity to also counsel. So point number three is counseling. It is very, 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 very important nor vital. All right. Point number four. Point number four is singing. Singing over here, most people have the gift to sing. Most people have that capacity to sing and to touch people. They have the zeal in them. They have, they have the inner mind to be able to connect people, to change people's life, to transform people's life, but they don't want to do it. So as an individual, let me ask you this question. If you have the zeal to be able to sing, and you are not doing it what blessing are you expecting from god all right so you as an individual you need to develop that skill to be able to sing and also touch people in the church so when you have the zeal to to sing and also to transform people you need to do it as an individual so it is very vital for you as a believer in the church to teach people and if you have the capacity to teach how to sing and all these kind of things you need to work, develop that capacity so singing is very important when it comes to the church as a whole what is your 
most vital things you do to be able to help somebody in the church. All right? So that is very important. Singing, yeah, you can liberate people, you can transform people's lives, you can do almost everything. So if you have that quality, if you have that capacity, if you have that zeal to teach or to be able to sing adequately, to be able to sing, you, you, you have that zeal to sing or the gift of singing, try to implement it in the church. Most people can sing in the church, but they don't want to do it. So if you are expecting maybe greater things from God, how do you expect it to be? So you need to develop that skill, try to help someone from that skill, and also the Holy Spirit will bless you. So the church, you need to what? Sing. Or you need to teach somebody how to what? Sing. It is very, very important. So if you have that, the zeal to sing, try to also sing in the church. All right, that is point number four. I want to put before the point number five here, I want to ask you this question. We as individuals, I almost ask this, what are you doing to help someone? What are you doing to help someone? Are you doing something to change or transform someone's life in the church? Okay, so you need to transform someone's life. It is very vital. So all the departments we have in the church, if you have the zeal to enter, be it the, uh, the, 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 the men fellowship, be it the women fellowship, the youth as a whole, the youth ministry, you need to engage yourself into all this. And you realize that the blessing All right. 